Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video we are going to study about the scope of variables that will include the local variables and global variables and along with that we will discuss about the func name array variable. So let's begin. First of all scope of variables means the visibility of particular variable within our shell script. It means which part of the code can access that particular variable and which part of code cannot access that variable. Now we already know on the basis of number of value that a variable can hold, we had divided the variables in two ways. That is the scalar variable which can hold only one value and the array variable that can hold multiple values. Now on the basis of the scope of variable, we again divide it into two types that is the global variables and local variables. Global variables will have the global scope which means it will be accessible throughout our shell script after this definition and local variable will have the local scope that means the visibility of that particular variable is limited and only a particular segment of code can access that variable. Okay. Now by default whenever we define a variable it is automatically becomes a global variable. For instance if we write here where equals to let's say user1. Okay, so by default it has become the global variable, correct, which will have the global scope. That means after defining the variable, we can access this particular variable anywhere in the subsequent code, okay, throughout our shell script. For example, I can simply write here echo dollar and where, correct, and I will be able to access it. So let me execute our shell script that is scope. Okay, and it will give me output as user1. Now this variable we can also access inside the function. So I'll write here xyz as the name of the function. Give here parenthesis and inside it I can write here echo dollar where. Okay, now let me call this function. So I'll write here xyz. Okay, let's save it. And if I again execute our shell script, you will see that our function is able to access that variable. Okay, let me write here one more line that is echo inside function, correct. Let's save it and if I again execute it then you will see inside the function it is able to access the global variable which is where, okay. Now we can also change the value of the global variable which will be reflected throughout our shell script. For instance, inside the shell script I will write here where equals to let's say user 10. Okay, so I am changing the value and I am again going to print it that is echo dollar where and after calling this function I am again going to print this variable. So let me save it. Now what will happen? First of all we are defining where equals to user1 which is becoming global variable. Then we had written here echo dollar where. So at this moment the value holded by the where is not changed. So in this case it will print us user1 as a value. Now after that we are calling the xyz function. So xyz function will be called then it will print us inside fun and then it will print the current value of the where which is still user1. After that we are changing the value of the global variable with the value user10. So now the new value of the global variable where is user10. Okay. So in this case if we print here it will give us user10 and after our function has been terminated and if we again print this value then it will print us the latest value which is the user 10. Okay. So let's save our shell script and if we execute it then you will see first of all it is printing us user 1 here it is printing us user 1 then we had called the function so it is inside the function then again it is printing us the user 1 which is the old value then it is changing the value with the user 10 and then we are printing it so the new value is user 10. Okay, and after calling the function, the value has been changed and it is now user 10. So user 10 has been printed here. So this is about the global variables which once defined all the subsequent code will be able to access its value and also can change its value. Okay, after that we have the local variable which is defined using the keyword that is local. So for that I am going to write here local and give here a variable name as where local and give it value as user local okay let me remove these lines so we had defined a local variable with the name where local having the value as user local and if i want to access it then i can write here echo dollar 
where local okay within our function body so if we save it and execute our shell script then you will see at this moment it is printing us user local now the difference here is that we cannot access the where local variable outside of this function body okay so if i write here echo dollar and where local then you will see it is not going to print us anything so the scope of the local variable is limited to its function body it cannot be accessed outside of its body okay but suppose if i create a global variable inside the function so let me write here user global okay now i am not using any keyword here so it is by default will be the global variable correct and now we will be able to access this variable outside of the function body also so if i write here echo dollar where to save the file and again execute our shell script then you will see we are able to access it okay so global variables once defined can be accessed throughout our shell script in all the subsequent codes but local variables can be accessed within the function body now i am saying the variables can be accessed in the subsequent codes because only once the variable is defined we will be able to access it okay for example in this case if i write here echo dollar where okay then if for this particular line the variable where is not defined yet so it is not going to print us anything correct so if i execute it then you will see it is not going to print us anything so only after the variable is defined the subsequent code will be able to access that variable first thing and the second thing is that for the global variable the scope or the visibility will be for the entire script while for the local variable it will be within the function and only the function body can access that local variable now one more thing if the name of the global variable and the local variable is same then the local variable will have the higher precedence or within the function body local variables will be used for instance let me write here instead of where local i am going to write here only where okay let me remove these lines and if i write here echo dollar where then you will see this value will be printed okay so let me save it and if i again execute it then you will see it is printing us the value defined by the local variable okay and similarly if i also write here let's say where equals to sssss then also only the local variable will be affected not the global variable okay so i am also writing here echo dollar where correct let's save it and if we execute our shell script then you will see first of all we are defining the local variable with the value user local so it is printing us user local then i am changing the value of the where so the value of the local variable will get changed not of the global variable so in this case the value is becoming sss and while printing us it is giving us sss okay now the local variable has been changed and the global has stayed the same so here it is printing us user 1 so when the name of the variables are same then the local variable will have the higher precedence within that function body okay now we had discussed about the local variables and global variables using the scalar variable but the same rules are also applied to the array variables now after that let's discuss about the func name array variable now func name is a special array variable that contains the name of the functions which are currently in a executing call stack now call stack is basically a data structure that contain various information about the functions which are in the executing state now what i mean by executing state is that suppose we are calling here as fun1 okay so by default in the shell script whenever we execute our shell script a default function that is the main function is called okay which you can take it as the first function being called in our shell script it is invisible to us it is not going to be shown now here i am calling the function number 1 okay so function number 1 is called and it is now in the currently executing state so in our call stack another function with the fun1 will be loaded okay let's say this is this was our call stack okay basically there are many information in the call stack but we are only taking the name of the functions and then it will print us inside fun1 now at this moment forget about this func name 0 and func name 1 then it is calling the function number 2 notice that the current execution of the fun number 1 is not ended and it has called a another function okay that is the function number 
correct so in our call stack we will have another function with the name fun2 right so it will print us inside fun2 then again forget about this func name at this moment and after that it will print us fun2 and it and then the execution of this function will be terminated okay so as soon as the body of this function will be terminated this function entry from our call stack will be removed okay and it will go one to the back or it will go to the function one since function one called the function two so it will go to the back correct so after going back here the program execution will be reached and it will print as fun one and it right and after that the body will again get terminated so it will also get removed from the call stack okay and the execution will go back again now what func name array variable do is that for a current function that is in the executing state it has the capability to print the hierarchy of the functions okay for example in the case of fun2 we had seen that we had the main then fun1 and then the fun2 okay now in this case while function2 is executing then if i write here func name zero then it is going to print me the name of the currently executing function so it is going to print us fun2 okay so if we are writing here func name zero it will give me at this moment fun2 now func name one will print us the name of the function which has called the function2 okay so we know that function1 has called the function2 so f1 is going to print us at this moment fun 1 similarly func name 2 which is the highest index at this moment so at this moment you will see this is 0 1 2 so it is going to print us main right now suppose i am writing this func name 0 and func name 1 within the function 1 so in this case what will be printed first of all we had the main and main has called the fun 1 okay so the minimum index will be 0 so for the 0 it will print us fun1 and for the 1 it is going to print us main okay since only two functions are here so this is how the func name array variable is useful to print the hierarchy of the function or it can also be used to print the name of the currently executing function so let's save our file and if we execute our shell script that is the name is f-u-n-c-n-a-m-e func name and then you will see first of all it is going inside the function number one it is printing us inside fun one inside fun one now the minimum or lowest index will give the name of the currently executing function so it is giving us here fun one that is the name of the function okay and the maximum index at this moment is one so the maximum index will give me the main as a function so it is printing us main right after that i am calling the function number two so while calling the function number two main is in the stack fun one is in the stack and also now the fun two is also in the call stack right so it is going to print us inside fun two inside fun two then the lowest function will have the name of the currently executing function so name of the currently executing function is fun two that's the reason it is printed here fun two now the next index will tell us which particular function has called the fun two that is the currently executing function or you can take it as a hierarchy that is one level up okay so the fun2 has been called by the fun1 so that's the reason fun1 has been printed and the fun1 has been called by the main function that is the reason in the index number 2 the main has been printed okay after that we are writing here fun2 ended so fun2 ended has been printed here then the program execution is going back to the function number one next line to the calling of the function two so it is printing us function one and it so same line has been printed okay so this is how you can use the func name array variable inside the shell script so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video